Hey guys, I'm Gina Z here today and I am back with a video review for the Lunette Cup. Now this video is going to be more so one that isn't really scripted. I just wanted to do like a day in the life, like a real deal experience of what it is like for the Lunette Cup. For the longest time I've been looking for some type of alternative to like period care and different things like that. And I have never tried the cup before. This is supposed to be a cup that you can use for your menstrual cycle. You're supposed to insert it. And as you guys can see, it is a little cup. So, you know, your flow and everything would be trapped inside the cup. As far as what the box says, it says that it's a revolutionary period care product that collects your flow. It's effortless, it's comfortable, you can sleep through the night, you're in charge, so it's not supposed to leak or anything like that. The cup is an everyday luxury, it's high quality, BPA free, medical grade silicone, and you can wear it up to 12 hours. And the last thing is that it is reusable for years, it's zero race, waste, it's eco chic, and it says together we can change the world. It looks like they actually are able to give you two different ones. So they have cup number one, which is a light to medium flow, and that's the one that I got for this particular one. And then they also have model two, which which is for more so of a heavier flow. And the funny thing is that I was actually in the middle of deep conditioning my hair because I was waiting for my period to come. So it literally just came. So I'm about to unbox this so that we can use it together. I'm gonna document my experience so you guys can see what my lunette experience is like. Okay, so here is the lunette cup. I have been waiting a little while to unbox it because like I said, I've been really, really excited. So it's hello to your little friend. So I'm gonna open it up and this is exactly how it comes. The cup is really, really, really cute. Like it, it literally does not even look like this would be for your period. Like this is how cute that it looks. Everything will be collected inside. It seems like it's pretty self-explanatory. You know, you basically insert this into your vagina. It would sit in the wall and everything will go inside of the cup. All of your flow will be inside of the cup. And the stem right here, this is going to help you obviously with taking it out and everything like that. It does come with a cute little drawstring bag that you can use. Very discreet, very cute, so you can put your Lunette cup in there. And then it also comes with an instructions guide. It says Lunette menstrual cup, your vagina's new best friend. Remember that practice makes perfect, period. So one of the things that I am a little worried about is exactly how I'm supposed to insert this thing because I'm not really sure. But it looks like the instructions definitely do give you a good guide as far as how you are supposed to be using it. So you have the fold and hold. I'm assuming the fold and hold is something like this. So you would hold it and obviously please wash your hands. Wash your hands, really important. They also have the part where you insert it, as you guys can see, then it's learn to wear. So like I said, depending on your flow, they said that it can be empty two to four times a day. You could be used for 12 hours, also overnight. You could swim with this, you can do yoga, you can exercise, you can do pretty much everything. And then you just remove it, you empty it out, you clean it and you sanitize it. And that is exactly how you're supposed to be using the cup. All right, so now all the water is boiling and I'm just going to drop this in. All right, so I already have a timer on my phone because as I said, I was deep conditioning my hair. So you guys see the timer is going. I'm going to set 20 minutes in a microwave and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys if this thing hopefully does not get burned because it's just floating around, touching stuff and it's hot. So I'm going to watch it. All right, guys, so I have my lunette cup and now all I'm going to do is just go about washing my hands. I'm also going to take my cup out. I did boil it, but you know, just touching and handling, you just want to make sure that everything is okay. There are actually four holes on the cup, so there's one right there, there's another one right there, and then there's one right there and one right there. I didn't even know, I thought it was two holes, but it's actually four. So once again, put the holes in, and then just switch through the cup like so, making sure nothing is inside of your cup. All right, so I am inside my bathroom. I am actually on the toilet on a video that is live for the public. This is gonna be interesting. So I do wanna go over some of the different ways that you can insert the cup. Now, there's a couple of different things. I know there is the fold method like this, where you're supposed to just take the cup, push it. They call it the heart method or the triangle method where you just do it like that. There's another one where I saw another woman, she had actually pushed it down like this and then she put it in like that. It's, it's a couple of different, yeah, you push it in, down like that, and then you insert it like that. Wow, I really don't feel a thing at all, and the cup is inside. The cup is definitely inside. I don't feel anything. I'm hoping to God that everything is like rounded out. They said you could feel to see if it's gonna expand, but I can't really feel to see if it expanded. I'm praying that it did, but everything seems to be okay so far. So. Hey guys, so this is my final check-in for today. Long, long day. Okay, so the time is now 12.41 and 
how do I feel about the Lunette Co? The first pro that I have is the fact that I didn't have any leakage today. Can we go with that? I did not feel any pain when using this product and I only had to change it one time in 12 hours. Like that was it. Like that was it. It's literally a cup for your period and I'm just like, wow why have i not known about this sooner you literally feel the blood coming down and it's like you feel it but you're good like you're not leaking or anything so the second thing about it that i really you know learned was that you don't bleed as much as you usually do because when you're using other like alternative forms for like your menstrual cycle the blood just like goes everywhere and like then you think it's a lot of blood but as you guys saw i really did not bleed a lot and i was like that's all like that's it in 12 hours like that's how much i bled like that's crazy and that's just personally for me now the only con that i did have with the product is that when i was trying to actually get it out it was very difficult for me like i'm it was a little bit of a struggle it's a technique where when you're trying to take it out you know you would just like kind of put it in there and you just edge it out but it also involves pushing down as well like you have to be able to use your kegel muscles so like the way that i was doing it was just wrong because you kind of have to understand the angle that you know your canal really is because if you're doing it the wrong way it's gonna be a little bit painful you don't want that i also noticed that like when i took the cup out i really didn't have anything that was outside the cup so that let me know that everything had actually opened up i didn't see anything on the outside of the cup because when you take it out you're automatically assuming like period it's gonna be everywhere and it really wasn't like i took it out and everything was fine so i have to say like you know this experience kind of made me get more in tune with my body so that was day one using the luna cup and i'm about to sleep with it i think that's the ultimate test for me i kind of want to see like is it going to be okay while i sleep and you know that the moment you wake up that's when you can tell like oh my god yeah i'm leaking so i'm gonna see what day two is like and sleep this i'm gonna put this back in and i will see you guys tomorrow hey guys so today is the second day of my period um it's around like 11 30 ish right now and i didn't have any leaks last night didn't have any access everything was okay only thing is that this morning when i woke up i immediately noticed that i was having cramping and normally i usually do have cramping from a period but i think it may have been because i was struggling to put the lunette cup in last night i had to watch a whole video and try to figure it out and as soon as i did take the cup out i noticed that the cramping did subside so i think that could be the reason for the cramping now as far as how much i actually bled this is how much i bled so i bled even less like yesterday it was at the second line but i bled even less last night for those 12 hours so that's how much uh blood that actually collected i'm gonna wash it out again so you know it could be fresh and everything i'm gonna put it back in hey guys so it's currently the next day and today is day three of my period i just got out of the shower and everything has been pretty dope with the luna cup at this point i actually know how to insert the cup how to take the cup out so i feel like by day three that's when you'll start to try and like understand exactly how to use it. So this is day three and I have a little bit of water in there. That is all that I was able to get out this morning and that was with 12 hours. So that's pretty much all the blood that I really had in my cup. So at this point with day three, I feel like my period is starting to wind down. If you guys notice here, I did make an adjustment to the cup where I decided to cut off the stem. So the best way to insert it, let's say this is your vagina, what you do is you would insert just this part of the cup and once you feel like you get to this part right here, like this little part where it has like this angle, you would insert to that point and at that, you would just let it open up. And once you're able to do that, just push it a little further up like so until this part is like inside. What I realized is that you don't have to push the cup all the way up in there and that's pretty much what I was doing and that's why I was experiencing the cramping I was telling you guys about on day two. And it's because when you're pushing it too far up, it's going to be either sitting directly on your cervix or you're going to be hitting it on your cervix. So that's the reason why you're having the cramping. Now I'm also getting the hang of how to take the cup out. Once the cup is actually sitting inside your vagina like so, it helps that if you just bear it down, like I was telling you guys about before, that definitely helps to bring it down. That's basically using your Kegel muscles. And once it is down, I would just insert a finger and then all I would do is pretty much pinch the cups. I think that's actually why they do have these grips right here so that when you are pinching that part, it's a lot easier to get out. And once it's far enough down that you can actually pinch it with a second finger, you would go in, break the suction. You'll be able to hear it's like a 
it, it's something like that where it's like a squishy feeling. You'll be able to hear when the suction is broken and then you can pinch it like I said and at that point that's when you can bend it and kind of pull the cup out. It is a better approach to you know using a menstrual tool to help you through your cycle mainly because I noticed that when I use the cup I don't have any smell like no smell whatsoever when I was trying alternative means to you know help me with my cycle I always noticed that there was some type of you know like not a bad odor but just like the smell of blood that's been sitting there but since this actually is made of really good material when it's essentially sitting in your vagina it's not just sitting there absorb and just you know sit in there saturated this is your vagina wall basically and it just bleeds right into the cup so when you take this out it's just liquid and i kid you not it doesn't smell like anything this seems to be a better approach when i do have my cycle and i absolutely love the cup i'm telling you guys once you get the hang of it it's life-changing it's like oh my god hallelujah <laughs> we found something i love the cup so by day three i feel like all right I'm a pro at this, I understand how to use it. Hey guys, so I'm back and it is like around seven, almost eight o'clock now and I just changed my Luna cup. So this time around, I actually ended up bleeding a little bit more. It's usually a little bit more than what I usually do and this is day three of my period. Today, I guess I could say I was definitely more active. I went out, I got some groceries for dinner and it looks like I may be finishing probably on day four or five, so we'll see. But I'm gonna pop this way back in and then I'll check in tomorrow morning with no leaks, no issues because this product is amazing. Hey guys, good morning. So I am back. I just finished getting out the shower, all wet and everything. And same situation with the Luna cut, no leaking, no pain, no nothing. This is about how much that I had blood last night and it's still within the same, you know, amount. I'm not bleeding any more or any less. It seems like my period's almost finished. So pretty much guys, I am going to go ahead and dry it off. I'm gonna pop this baby back in and I will check in later. Hey guys, so I am back. I know I look a little bit different. I just finished filming and it is about a little bit after eight. This is how much we got this time around. Pretty much the same exact amount and a couple of new things that I did want to tell you guys as far as how I feel about the cup. So it's been a few days and one thing that I never got to experience, which probably isn't too good with my diet, but is bowel movements. Um, I know a few women said that they didn't really like the fact that they had to, you know, go to the bathroom while they had the cup in, mainly because as I said before, like when you are buried down, that's kind of one of the techniques I use to remove the cup. It feels like your cup is gonna come out, like I kid you not. But if it is put in properly, the suction should be more than enough to keep the cup inside. But I'll be honest with you, I really didn't like the idea of feeling like it was gonna come out. Like there was a point where I had to grab some tissue just in case, you know, just, just hold it there just in case. But nothing came out, nothing came out. But for me personally, I just don't like the idea of having to, you know, go number two when I'm using my cup because it just feels like something's gonna happen and I'm just like, oh my God, if I was in a public restroom, I would, I would be really, really uncomfortable. So yeah, defecating with the cup, definitely not for me. But other than that, everything is still fine. I absolutely still love it. I cannot believe how amazing this product is. And that is it for my check-in. I'm going to wash this again, put this baby back in, and I will come in for day five, which is tomorrow morning. Hey guys, so I am back and I'm just I'm about to head out and just get a couple of you know errands run. But I am on day five of my period and the Buna cup is still an amazing cup. This is how much that we are bleeding at this point. And as you guys can see, it's really not much because my period is just about ending. I am going to put this back in because honestly, I just don't want to deal with having to change a liner. And I'm pretty sure like by the end of today, I will not have to use my Lunette cup anymore, which is obviously a little saddening to me because I really enjoyed the experience of using it. It's so cool just to see exactly how my body really works as opposed to how I thought it worked. So Lunette cup is I love it so much.